there, Internet. I'm Michael, and this is Two Can Play That Game. This is the third video in the series of Snow Tales. So, in this video, you will get to see my final thoughts on this game and whether or not Two Can Play That Game. However, first, I'd just like to say if you've not checked out the previous two videos in this series, please follow the links in the description on this video and watch those, and then come back and join us to find out my thoughts on the game. So, what do I think about Snow Tales? Well, let's start with the obvious. It is in my collection. Therefore, I do like this game. But more so than that, I think it is my favourite racing game. Now, the majority of racing games that I've played, I've not felt captured that feel of trying to jump forward, racing, feeling like you're alternating back and forth, like it's a proper challenge. It's always just been a case of roll the dice and see where you end up. Whereas with this game's unique movement um, mechanics there, where it's card driven and the combination of the cards, I feel like you're very much in control of what you're doing. However, there's still that little element of luck of what other people do around you, and also, of course, what cards you have come up. What can you actually do with regards to creating a combination of those cards on your sled in order to get your sled to move in the way you want it to and as quickly and efficiently as possible? I can't speak enough about how much I like this game. It is by far my favourite racing game. My rule of thumb is try before you buy. So... As always, as much as I love this game and I want you to go out and buy it, I have to say, actually, my recommendation is to try it. So, what else can I say about Snow Tales that I haven't already said? Well, of course, is it two player? Can two play this game? Well, the game does actually scale very well for the range that it says of two to five but it plays very differently depending on the number of players. The more players you add, the more chaotic the game gets, but it's still fun in that chaos. With the lower number players, the game has a very different feel. There's much less chaos, there's much less, oh, I'm going to hit you, I'm going to hit the wall, going on there. But at the same time, you still have this puzzle, this strategy of trying to, even just with a two-player game, it's like this mental battle of, oh, well, can I do this? Is it worth me pushing my luck, pushing forward, taking a bit of damage, going into that corner too fast? So, yes, two can play this game. It is still a great game with two players. It is a different game. I wouldn't say it's better or worse, depending on the number of players. It is a different game, and I still love it. So, this game has my seal of approval. Um... I really, I can't say anything more about it. I love the artwork. Okay, the cover artwork isn't great, but for the most part, the art on the cards, the art on the track itself, it is very clear, very concise. It's simple, it does the job. The component quality, it's good. Um, the brakes, it feels a bit clumsy that with the Huskies, you'll play cards directly onto your player mat, but with the brakes you're not. That feels a bit clumsy because it's like, oh, and then I've got to find the token. But other than that, it, it does work. And as I've said, I really do love this game. Um, so it's got acceptable components. I like the sleds. You know, there, there's definitely good component quality there. It is not bad or cheap component quality. The artwork is definitely adequate. And gameplay wise, it is stellar. So, try this game. Thanks for watching. Two can play that game. If you have enjoyed this video, and I hope you have also watched the previous two videos in this series and enjoyed them, please do check out the rest of my videos. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And as always, bye for now.